pursue that and more arguments with the author and your, of God is Not Great, Christopher Hitchens, How Religion Poisons Everything, with more of your calls and more discussion on some of the most important issues facing this greatest nation on God's green earth. on pop culture and politics. This is the Michael Medved Show. And another great day in this greatest nation on God's green earth. And in this great nation, religion has meant something different, something very different from what it has meant uh, around the world in prior world history. I think that Christopher Hitchens would agree with that. He is the author of God is Not Great. And part of the American religious tradition, it seems to me, has been largely, uh, certainly in a, a Christian sense and also in a Jewish sense, to inculcate a, uh, a certain kindness in people. And that's why the Lubavitcher Rebbe, uh, Menachem Mendel Schneerson, a, a great rabbi who died in 1994, who was not so kindly dealt with by Christopher Hitchens in his book, God is Not Great, once described America as a malchus shel chesed, which means a kingdom of kindness or loving kindness. And uh, Christopher, uh, we're, we're talking with the author of the best-selling book, God is Not Great, and I'm privileged to have uh, Christopher Hitchens for another another hour with, uh, with him and with your calls, 1-800-955-1776. But before we go to calls, uh, I wanted to just raise this question about the kindness of religious believers here in the United States and to do it in the context of playing some remarks that you made regarding the late Jerry Falwell on the very day of his death. As as you well remember, you were on CNN with Anderson Cooper and uh, you spoke in this way about Jerry Falwell. People like that should be out in the street shouting and hollering with a cardboard sign and selling pencils from a cup. The whole consideration of this, of this uh, horrible little person is offensive to very, very many of us who have some regard for truth and for morality and who think that ethics do not require that lies be told to children by evil old men. That we're not told that people who believe like Falwell will be snatched up into heaven. Uh, where I'm glad to see uh, he skipped the rapture, just found on the floor of his office, uh, while the rest of us go to hell. How, how dare they talk to children like this? How dare they raise money from credulous people on their huts to like Elmer Gantry radio stations and fly around in private jets as he did, giggling and sniggering all the time at what he was getting away with? Uh, uh, all right. Christopher Hitchens uh, speaking on the day of Jerry Falwell's death. Um, my question for you is, can you imagine any religious believer, whether it would be a Dr. Falwell or a Pat Robertson or a Billy Graham, he should live and be well, uh, or, or any religious believer speaking with equal uh, hostility, and, and you'll pardon me, sir, but nastiness on, say, the, the day of your death? Um, I don't want to duck your question at all, but there's something left over, and I'll come right to it. Something left over from before the break when you talked about the Catholic Church being uh, global and inclusive. Yes. Um, this is a church that until um, 40 years after the Holocaust uh, accused all Jews everywhere at all times of, of the crime of deicide. It wasn't until the Second Vatican Council that, that the charge against all Jews was reluctantly dropped. Well, that's not 40 years after the Holocaust. No, it's, it's a long it's time 15, 15 years after the Holocaust. No, 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 it's not. The Second Vatican Council was... It, sorry, I, did I say 40? I yes. should have said 20, 25 years. A long time. Okay. 20 centuries of anti-Semitism. That's pretty tribal in my view, and only very reluctantly discarded, revived by uh, Catholic extremists like, like Mel Gibson, and implicitly revived by Mr. Ratzinger's attempt to reinstate the tridentine uh, Latin form of the Catholic Mass, announced only this week, which refers to the perfidious Jew in its, in its actual liturgy. Um, okay, so, but so we didn't, let's, so we didn't let's, skip let's, that if, point. Since now, you at, want, the since you want... at the forewell, I was far too mild about the guy. I'm commenting here on the death of a fraud and a huckster and a liar and a racist and a bigot 
who had been excessively praised all day by the time I, as perhaps she's a lone dissenting voice, was allowed onto Anderson Cooper's program. And I said, I'm sorry, I don't want to hear all this pious talk about someone who made his life fundraising from prejudice. All right. And I, I think I was um, much, much too soft on him. And as to what they would say when I die, first, I don't care. Second, Jerry Fulwell and others repeatedly told people like myself that we were going straight to hell. Not a very kind thing to say. No, I don't did, did Jerry, did Jerry, Fol did Jerry Falwell ever say about you, Christopher Hitchens, about an individual who's in the public eye, that you were going straight to hell? Did he himself ever say that? His theology says it. Okay, his theology may indeed say that, but my point about okay, this is, okay, would you, would you, you as a person... His, his, uh, I, actually, I, I was actually in the church once, listening to Dr. Ian Paisley, his, um, his sort of Irish uh, Protestant Presbyterian equivalent, um, uh, we've got to, actually, he's more he's more tightly connected to Bob the Bob Jones faction of this of this racket, to be exact, than to the Jerry Falwell one. But I remember him saying that Princess Diana uh, had gone straight to hell because she was an adulterer on the day she died. And I thought, well, that's what he thinks. I mean, okay, why, this is, why shouldn't again, he this is that's, where that's, where, where were you in church when Reverend? Belief. Where were you in church where Reverend Paisley said that? So I've been to the Reverend Paisley's church. I wasn't there on the day he said that, but he famously said it the day she died. In, in Belfast, Northern Ireland. In Belfast, Northern Ireland. Okay, he's, so let's, he's, let's, he's let's go made, back. He's just been made a chief minister for, for a lifetime of, of Calvinist uh, bigotry and, and violence. He's in political power in the six counties of Northern Ireland, and you're, you're saying that I'm the one who's got to be nice. Good grief. No, no, ag again, we're t I'm talking about, and I think you will concede, that, that in the, your adopted country, in the United States of America, in fact, we established this when we were talking previously, that, that this country is different. It's different from other nations in the world. Certainly the forms of Christianity that are practiced in the United States are very different and uh, far more accepting of, of uh, living uh, with, with differences. Well, no, For that's precisely because of that.